Hi and welcome to NetCam for Jewelry. In this video I want to discuss model segmentation. Let's say you have this model and you're asked to produce a new metal. The advantage of the newer mills, five axis mills in particular, is that you can actually reach all of these areas um, as a singular model. You can get underneath here, you can get into all of these spaces between geometries and you can produce a wax model that will look exactly like this in one piece but just because you can doesn't necessarily mean you should um, the issue is twofold first of all you might have a bit more challenges casting this uh, because of the complexities of geometry uh, but second and most importantly even if you do succeed in casting it you will have a potentially great deal of trouble cleaning and polishing and finishing this piece properly with these really really tight spaces and so I recommend that before you begin your tool pathing so this um, preparation for milling to consider how to segment this each model in such a way that it will not only cast well but also be readily assembled and finished in a professional way so let's look at this model in particular. Our prongs, this four pronged geometry is a pre-made part because it's quite standard so we can just turn it off and ignore it for the time being um, and look at what remains. We have a, a shank with a fleur de lis motif as well as some mill grain on the side and we have these two leaf like segments that kind of go above the shank and I think that it's better to put these in a separate layer and cut them out as a separate operation, leaving just the shank with these little fleur de lis. This way we can easily access all of the angles, all of the sides, both in milling and in finishing, if you can imagine this as a, as a cast and finished piece. It's quite easy to get into all of these spaces, there's lots of room to work around. and then. When this part is complete, um, we can mill out or we can prepare the tool paths for just one of these leaves and then perform this operation twice. And then we'll have both of these done because they're symmetrical and basically near images of each other. So, once again, do take your time to think about what is the best way to segment each model to make it most likely to to be produced well and to be finished well um, and then it will help you quite a bit down the road so that you don't get um, the client coming back and requesting remills or uh, alterations to the model thanks for watching